10 best manhwa every fan of solo leveling needs to read. The best manhwa every fan of solo leveling needs to read are series that will channel the essence of the overpowered protagonist like Sung Jin Woo, create colorful settings like solo leveling's soul fantasy landscape, and weave stories of redemption and underdogs, among other things. Although solo leveling is a manhwa with frighteningly original concepts, there is much that it takes from trends and predecessors. Likewise, there are series that take after solo leveling, whether intentional or not. As a result, an exquisite web of culture is created between series similar to solo leveling, because the series does not continue indefinitely, leaving fans perpetually wanting more. The following series are manhwa that can quench the thirst of any solo leveling fan, opening up new branches of discovery. A Returner's Magic Should Be Special is a manhwa series that has been steadily gaining success through its magical landscapes that incorporate urban elements and its manhwa reincarnation premise. Its success recently reached its peak with an anime adaptation in fall 2023. The story follows Dizza Aman, who survives the magical disaster of the world called the Shadow Labyrinth, only to be one of humankind defeated and killed. However, the real story begins when Dizza is granted the opportunity to travel back in time and thoroughly prepare for the impending apocalypse. Although a returner's magic should be special's power system and urban structure is different from solo levelings, there are many similarities. Firstly, Dizza's reincarnation is highly reminiscent of Sung Jin Woo's reawakening process. Although Dizza's is a pure time travel regression and Sung Jin Woo needs to work his way up as an underdog, both share the essence of the overpowered protagonist. Secondly, both stories involve a similar sense of impending chaos. In the case of a returner's magic should be special, it is the shadow labyrinth, and in solo leveling, it is the interdimensional gates. Tomb Raider King is a popular manhwa series produced by Redis Studio, the same studio that adapted the solo leveling manhwa. The story is an urban fantasy that follows Seo Juhian, a tomb raider, or grave robber, who is given a second chance at life. Using the advantage of his memories, Juhian becomes stronger than he'd ever been before through collecting magical items called relics from the magical tombs that invaded the modern world. Aside from Tomb Raider King's art being similar to solo levelings and Seo Juhian's character having an uncanny resemblance to Sung Jin Woo, Tomb Raider King also leans into an urban fantasy concept that seems to take influence from solo levelings gates. Tombs spawn and fuse with real-world structures much like how gates appear, and the internal structure of tombs are dungeon-like as well. However, Tomb Raider King's redeeming difference is its original usage of relics as a power system, as each item is equipped with unique lore and possibilities. The player who can't level up is a manhwa with heavy game elements and fantasy aspects that take a lot of influence from the foundation that solo leveling and other fantasy manhwa have established. The story follows Kim Kaijiu after he awakens the power of a player, a person who climbs the tower and defeats monsters to close magical gates around the world. However, despite receiving a unique ability, Kim Kaijiu is not able to level up. The concept of this manhwa seems to run contrary to solo leveling's idea of a main character who is the only one who can level up in his universe. However, both series take the abilities of exclusive and exclusionary leveling up to the extreme when portraying an overpowered protagonist. While Sung Jin Woo starts as the lowest ranked hunter and levels his way to underdog success, Kim Kaiji Yu similarly defies ranked logic as a low-level player who is capable of unordinary feats. The Archmage Returns After 4000 Years is a manhwa series of secrets, a quickly growing protagonist, and exquisite use of dramatic irony. The series is a reincarnation manhwa that incorporates Aizkai elements, and follows the rebirth of the legendary mage, Lucas Trauman, who was considered the strongest mage in history, but fell to the world's demigods. However, Lucas is given a second chance through the body of Fry Blake, as he takes his hidden identity and memories to start again from the basics of magic school. The Archmage Returns After 4000 Years is a manhwa series of secrets, a quickly growing protagonist, and exquisite use of dramatic irony. The series is a reincarnation manhwa that incorporates Aizkai elements, and follows the rebirth of the legendary mage, Lucas Trauman, who was considered the strongest mage in history, but fell to the world's demigods, 